What's going on, Extreme Gang? It is Extreme Card Breaks. So I'm here with a little bit of a middle day, a little bit about who I agreed with. And as you can see, there's our box for a giveaway for tomorrow. Now, I'll do a separate video on this again for uh, the giveaway for this weekend. So look for that tomorrow. So I got two packages in the mail. I know what both are. The first one is who I grade with. So everybody always asks about grading. And I'm going to go ahead and start opening this stuff up just because I know it's really well wrapped. Um, everybody that, I, well, a lot of people always look to who's, who's good at grading, who does what, all this stuff. I only do grade with one person for Beckett anymore. I do know there's many out there, a lot of good people. I grade with uh, Sappy's uh, Sports Cards, his grading, for the fact that he lives right next to BGS. He goes there every day. He's very honest with uh, looking at your cards. He will tell you. I'm going to pull some of this out because it has some uh, addresses on it. But um, he will sit there and tell you, hey, this card is not going to grade, in his opinion, to be a 9.5 or better with Beckett. It set me up to respect. And there's been times where I've had him grade cards that are uh, not, you know, going to... I'm sorry, I'm sitting here trying to look at this here. That are not going to grade nine five or get a ten onto it because it's a high value card. And if I'm going to sell it, I don't want anybody sitting there saying that, oh, well, this was wrong with the card, that's wrong with the card, or whatever. So this is an example. This is one card we did not grade, and the reason only being on to this is the centering itself. So when you look at this, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Look at the left and right up at the top piece here. It's really, really off. Uh, he, you know, I might be lucky to get eight and a half, maybe a nine overall grade onto it. So this would be something maybe down the road that I would grade. But as of right now, this would not, you know, this hyper is on Williams not good. He showed me by picture and everything. He lets you know ahead of time before he takes anything in there you know, what he thinks is going to do well or not well. I mean, if you want him to do a quick little service of wiping down your card and looking at it, it's only like three bucks. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, Sappy. I'm pretty sure it's only $3. You can't beat it. Now, link will be down below to his Facebook group to get into if you guys want to get your stuff graded through him. Like I said, he goes virtually every day. If he's at a show, uh, he has somebody go for him. He just won't ship out. He sends pictures um, after it's been, after he looks at the cards for you and he sends you pictures of your grade. As soon as he picks up, ships out next day. He can't beat it. So here we go. First off the bat, Zion Williams Silver. That he got it. Quad 9 5 for me. I have to go this way. Something's up with my camera here. Must be because there it is from last night. But Quad 9 5, my Silver Zion. I'm very happy with that. Um, I mean, it's just amazing. You don't see a whole lot of quad nine fives out there on them. You usually see a nine somewhere pop up. So it was really, really good. The other card I got graded was a CJ Abrams from this year's uh, Bowman draft. It's the black version out of 75, nine, five, 10. Only thing I got a nine in was corner surface, perfect 10 onto it. Very, very good grade. Uh, last one sold with 10 centering, same overall grades for 2400 So, as I'm saying, he's really good to grade with. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to get your stuff graded by him. He's one of the very few people I would trust setting my cards to to get graded. And, like I said, with him being right next to Beckett, pretty much, he drops off daily. You don't have to sit there, send the stuff in, wait three weeks for somebody to get all your stuff, process it, and send it in. Your stuff, when he receives it, he's probably cleaning it, getting payment that night. He has all the prices on there. And more than likely, it's going out next day to Beckett, next working day. So, again, check him out, guys. He does a real good job. All right, my other one, I'm just trying to make sure I don't cut into it. I won for $37.50. Okay, he hasn't boxed. Wasn't too sure how they did it. I'm going to pull it out, but without hitting the camera and showing people's names and addresses here, try to keep a little bit of the PI going here. Plus, 
it's not really a break, so. Give me credit, I would never thought about doing this with a box around a box. Pretty good, cool way of doing it. Right here. So like I said, I won this for $37.50. Oops, there you guys go. Box of Donruss Optic this year hobby. So pretty good mail day overall. I do have some product for this weekend for us to do some openings with and everything. I just want to show you guys what I got in the mail today. Explain that, you know, you want to go with somebody that's going to be honest about your cards and just not send them in. Then they come back with horrible grades and you're upset because you spend, you know, 30 to $50 for grading. <laughs> that won't even stand up right. But did get two nice ones back. Like I said, BAM, Zion, Quad 9.5, CJ Abrams 9.5.10. Out of 75, very, very good cards. I'm trying to scratch cases up, so i got to put them in sleeves and stuff yet. And then also the boxes here, guys. It'll go up tomorrow on a separate video for the giveaway for the weekend. Box clearly authentic from Tops this year. Pull yourself something big out of it. All right, that's all for me, Extreme Gang. I do appreciate it. Make sure, like always, you subscribe to the channel, like the video. Feel free to make as many comments as you want. I will try my best to get back to everybody as quick as possible. Other than that, I will see you all tomorrow night for first. It'll be a video for this. It'll be posted. I'm going to come live 9 and 10. If you guys want to get stuff in the store, you know what it is, ExtremeCarBreaks.com. I'm loading it up with more stuff as we speak. I just threw some 2020 top stuff in there, but you guys already knew that. All right, see you guys tomorrow night.